Good morning, everyone. Ah, day five for me, day three for them. We're a little more tired to start the day. We are heading back to uh, Universal. It is actively raining. We and probably will be for the next two hours, which means Hagrid's won't be open, which means we're going to get every other ride done first. Then we are going to take a break, head back to here to the hotel, relax for a while, and then go to Disney Springs for dinner, and maybe make it an early evening. See how we feel. Talk to you soon, guys. See you in the parks. Hi, guys. So now that this is not the craziest of the uh, new rides, the... Uh, Despicable Me ride is actually a very short line. So we are walking in within like about five minutes and then we are going to head down to do Mummy and Bring It. It was a l we're trying to figure out the time we could have gotten this one squeezed in so I'm kind of glad we could do it now. It is raining, it is yucky, but everyone's putting on the raincoats and their ponchos and making it all happen. Uh, for those of you who have never been in this room since we have a little bit of time, they have the Gru family tree in the distance. Whoop, hold on, hold on. Gru family tree. I love the portrait. Welcome to my home, I am Gru. Master villain, scourge of humanity. So, you want to be in me? Yes. Minion, minion, minion. And every time. Now, well, all the warnings. What? No. There was a smudge. Do you like the cat? Don't say any more words. <laughs> These are my thoughts. Like Mickey Mouse. Lion with Hello. cat with mouse. The dog with mouse. Anyway, let's be here. We're going to start with a written exam. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this because of all the music playing, but I just wanted to say hello. Uh, they've just finished Despicable Me. I think they had a good time. They are headed into the mummy now. I have got all the stuff. Uh, so I'm holding it and waiting under a bench with an overhang so we can stay dry. This is what it looks like Christmas morning. Oh, well, not Christmas morning. The week of Christmas. We are at the 28th now. And it is about 8.30 in the morning. The park opened at 8. We got here at about 7.55 so we could be in and immediately hitting a ride. Despicable Me was a walk-on. I mean, we had like one room to wait for. Terrific. And I expect Mummy will not be long for them as well. So within 10 minutes, we'll be on to Gringotts. And then we can take the train across to the other side. What we're trying to do this morning is barrel through all of the rides that I know that they're going to want to do before the lines get too crazy. Because it's raining, it shouldn't be as bad as, I'm, as, as you would normally be. I would expect this place to be starting to get even more crowded. Hagrid's won't be open during the rain. It cannot run at all on the rain. I am having so much fun. I'm tired as hell. But I'm having so much fun. As a reminder guys, if you are enjoying this video series, please remember to hit the like button, do the subscribe so you know when, uh, well, it's just so you can follow me, and then hit that, uh, uh, what you call it, over there, that like button, the, the bell. It looks like a bell icon. That gives you notifications, so as soon as I, well, within a few hours of when I post something, you're gonna know about it, so you're gonna be able to enjoy it too. Day five for me, it is day three for them. They are exhausted, because I gave them two long, intense days to start this off. We're, we're death by fire, death by firing spot of, of rides. Um, but it's been amazing, it's been wonderful, and I will see you guys in a little while. everyone curls in where it's dry. 
So we went through the two rides over there, got some hot butter beer, decided, okay, they make the express and the reg with the regular and the single riders all wait in the same line. Oh, by the way, did you need any British candy? Sorry, they put British candy in the little train stop, so you really are in there. Here's the Christmas. Oh, they do do some Christmas decorations. How nice. Hello. Good morning. Up and up we go. Stairs. Walking stairs with you differently. Walking through your stairs. So one of the things someone suggested to me is because there was a specific muscle that was hurting, she recommended turning my feet in different directions as I'm walking. Okay. Here we go. And I think we've got, hold on, ah, those are my friends. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ben! Those of you who wanted to know what it looks like, and we are in a special room. Special. It's very cool. <laughs> we've made it to the tracks. It's a headwig. For those of you who are curious about the track, it is a pulley system. That wire you see kind of vibrating, that's the train. Okay, so change of plans again. Uh, because the Gringotts ride was still a very long wait, and I looked across the park lines and saw that Spider-Man and Hulk and Kong Island were all pretty short, we all we took the train over because that was short too. And we are now going to explore the front of the park. Hagrid's, right now, is a four hour wait. Oh, and fun fact, for those of you who had followed the uh, machinations of the first day, I was just speaking to a cast member, and while I thought it was a 10 hour wait that first day, she said it became a 13 hour wait for one ride. That's all you did that day. So here we go. Let's start having some fun and not run into people that get in your way. Because welcome to the holidays. Notice I'm the one holding the camera and I didn't hit her. This green eggs and ham is finally open. I know, who to thunk? It's been what? How many years? Never been open. Finally open. I was told the tater tots are really yummy, but the eggs are meh. No way, uh-uh, not happening. So uh, we've sent uh, Lizzie and Darcy on the Hulk. Uh, Glenn and I have been hanging out waiting. We tried to get them on single rider. I have a suspicion single rider wasn't open yet because they, were, they haven't come back yet and it's been quite a while. Glenn's uh, often making sure he can find them. Ride times are getting a little worse, obviously. Hagrid's is at four hours. Forbidden uh, Gringotts has gone up to three hours. I'm not sure why. It's frustrating. So we're, we're hoping we can make all of this work out. We'll see what we got. Uh, after this, we're gonna do Spider-Man because we know we can do Spider-Man. Other than that, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. just rode that crazy thing and I was in the front. It was awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. 
Yay! Okay, so what I liked about going to London is that it was relatively quiet. I mean, there was piping music, but it wasn't really loud. It was relatively quiet. And yeah, it was peaceful enough that Lucy and I like sort of dozed off while we were just hanging out there. Yeah, exactly. That those quiet moments make all the difference. It's, it is crazy loud inside the park, and being like, even this, I know I'm going to get tagged for copyright. Oh well. Hey guys, remember what to say? If you like this video, subscribe. If you want to follow my content, ring the icon notification bell. We're training her. She's a YouTuber. We're making this work. In the process. In the process. But yeah, remember to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and click that bell notification icon so that you know when I post new content. We're so glad to have you along on this trip. We're about to see a rider on this one, and we will see you as we get in. I have really bad news, Darcy. There are no Brussels sprouts on the menu. <laughs> So we are having lunch, guys, at Confisco. I have eaten at the bar here. I have not done the table service, but it looks fabulous and wonderful. Not a ton of gluten-free options, but I did find one I like. And we're gonna have fun, enjoy dinner, relax. Talk to you soon. So we have finished lunch. We are heading into, back to Diagon Alley now. Our plan is to go and do the single rider line for Gringotts, and then head back to the time, we'll grab ice cream and head to the timeshare. We've done everything we needed to get done today. Um, yeah, well, Kong I think we haven't done, but we're not dying for that. And uh, Hagrid's is the one we would want to do, but it's a four hour wait. So we're gonna save that for the last day when that's all we have to worry about. So we're gonna head inside. I'm gonna have to put you away. I'm sorry, I'm putting you away. Uh, but we will see you when we're done. So we have finished uh, uh, Forbidden Journey. No, not Forbidden Journey. Uh, escape, escape, escape from Gringotts. Yes. And what do you, what do we think? Very it's great. great. It's great. I don't think it's good as uh, Forbidden Journey, but okay. it's still really good in that app. It's in that app. Okay. I swear the journey was a little longer. Yeah. Yep. So what we are going to do right now is we are in Florian Fortescue's. You can see all the flavors up there. They've got apple crumble, salted caramel blondie, collotted cream, earl grey and lavender, sticky toffee pudding, chocolate and raspberry, strawberry and peanut butter, huckleberry, chocolate vanilla and chocolate chili. Or for soft serve, you've got butterbeer ice cream or chocolate strawberry parfait, uh, soft serve banana chocolate, pistachio vanilla, Toffee, toffee apple, strawberries and cream, orange marmalade, orange, no, Granny Smith with mint. Granny Smith with mint. That, yeah, so it's apple and mint together. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Okay, and that's salted. Over on the hard pack ice cream. Well, then that may be what we need to do. I will do unspeakable things. No, but on the ice cream. Where'd you get that ice cream? She never said that. You didn't hear a thing. No, what I meant to say was, I will do, um, I will. I will be very grateful. Yes. <laughs> so I will get uh, apple, sour apple, I think, Granny Smith apple. Granny? No, because it's banana and chocolate. Each each flavor has a bullet next to it. Oh, uh, that's possible. No, it's just Granny Smith, because Granny Smith was mint. I'm sorry, that sounds disgusting. I you never know. No, no. <laughs> Some people don't like apple and mint. No. So that's the mint ice cream. It's soft serve. She's going to get chocolate chips added. This is the Earl Gr salted caramel blondie with the Earl Grey and lavender. And then I will be getting the clotted cream with the Mexican chili chocolate, but I'm getting mine in a cup. And then we're going to get a bottle of pumpkin juice. Is one bottle of pumpkin juice enough? Do you think you want two? I already asked for it. Do you want two? We're taking it to the room. Sure. All right. We'll ask for a second one. They also have enhanced southern style sweet tea. And then we're getting the pumpkin juice. I have No, I don't think so. Not here. So, 
she said, do you want to make roux? And everyone's, everyone else said, no, no, no. She, she just went in the line anyway. Because that's the way it is. You do I it. I love Gru. I love Gru. He's, he's crabby and ruthless. And he's a harried parent yeah. of three girls. Girl? And so we uh, finished all of the rides now. We got our ice cream. We finished that. And then we said, all right, it's time to go. And then we saw Marilyn Monroe and Lucille Ball. And if I got good pictures, they're going in here. Right, right here. Um, and then we started to leave again and they went, oh look, it's Gru, it's Gru. And Darcy said, it's great, we wanna go see Gru, don't you? And everyone else said, well, every one of the other two said, no, we don't need to. So she got in line anyway, cause it's vacation. So here we go, they're gonna take camera pictures for us and we're gonna have a wonderful, happy time with Gru and the girls. So we'll just go photos here rather than interactions, all right? Bye. So because of the line, they're only doing individual photos, so hopefully those came out. And they did a shot, and then I did a shot, and somebody was left holding the bags. <laughs> now we're done. We're heading back to the pool. So this is our last view of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, it is approximately 2.19. We are leaving a little bit later than I had originally planned. That's okay. 5.30 is our dinner reservation. Six o'clock is their dinner reservation. And then we'll see what we do afterwards if we just go back to the hotel. I do need to go purchase something for a friend out in Disney Springs. But our day is ours now. We are relaxing. The crazy has hit the park and we're walking out. Yes, I know those of you who have watched my vacations. We're not going day in to the end of the day, beginning to end. We just did beginning and then we're taking a chill day. But we got all the rides we needed to do but Hagrid. We are so excited, we're handing to the exit. La 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 la. Okay. Having fun? Yes! Happy we're leaving early today? Yes! Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, guys, we'll see you when we get back home. So, in the Hard Rock Hotel, they have this beautiful butterfly garden. And we've been finding little butterflies floating around. There was a monarch over there. Let me see if I can get close enough for you to see it. I know, but the camera needs to get there. Oh, whoa, there it went. That's a monarch, all right. Yeah. I gotta get around. Don't want to step on anything important. Oh god, that's so pretty. I could probably get closer that's with it. Okay, come back, Monarch. Little flowers that are all specifically here to attract. That's the same one. He flew all the way over there. Looks like Beamer's been in here. Wow. I wonder if I can get close enough. Yeah, I see him. Let me see if I can get oh nope. He just doesn't like the camera. He's camera shy. All right, guys, well, I don't know if you saw that butterfly at all, I'm, especially because I'm close. But he's flying all over the place, enjoying the garden. He's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So this is lovely. And I don't know if you guys noticed it's uh, cut in the shape of a guitar. Okay. Look at, look at the shape of this. It's cut like the shape of a guitar. So this is just a little feature in the back when you're walking from the Hard Rock Hotel. Uh, the first day we were here, we couldn't walk through it because they were doing some uh, gardening work on it. But it's really peaceful and lovely. I hope you guys have been able to enjoy this little respite as we head back to the hotel. See you in a little while. Curvy shot. Here we go, guys. So we saw that one and we saw that one. Very beautiful. So this is the joy of when you're not rushing around and if you want to take a more leisurely stroll type trip back. You just can explore. There's the boat, waiting to go. And here's the hotel. No, we are not staying here. We are not that rich. But it would be cool one day. Anyone want to sponsor me on a trip, we'll talk about it. Isn't it romantic? It would be really cool if they took hands right now and we didn't ask them. But she's holding a whole lot of ponchos, so it's not gonna happen. Oh well. Back at the hotel. Stay here for a moment. Feet hurt. Tired, tired, tired. I may take a little bit of a nap. Some of us are going to the hot tub. I may stick my feet in the water here. Um, or I may go down and stick my feet in the hot tub water, just because they're very sore. Uh, and probably would not be a bad thing to get them a little bit uh, alleviated, like my lower legs and stuff, to loosen up the tighten muscles. But we have done so much stuff. Um, yeah, the only thing we really haven't done yet is the Hagrid's ride, and that's all we have to do. So even if it's a four hour wait, which would suck, but it'll be a four hour wait, we're gonna get it done tomorrow, or two days from now. Gravy.
all gravy, all relaxed, and just from a matter of planning. Hi guys, we have finished our nap. Uh, they went down in the pool. I haven't checked out with them to see how they enjoyed it. But we are getting ready to go out to Disney Springs for dinner. Uh, Glenn and Lizzie are going to go to T-Rex because that's one of the places they love. And uh, Darcy and I are going to head over to the boathouse. Now, I haven't done the boathouse in quite a while. I went there and I didn't like it very much. Um, the service I didn't like, I should say. I mean, the food was okay, but I was hoping for something a little less rushed. So everyone keeps raving about how amazing it is. I'm hoping they're right. We're going to give it another try tonight. It is seafood. I obviously have some limitations, but there's still t plenty I can eat. I'm very excited about it. Just thought I'd show it off. Tonight's stylish I'm going to dress up outfit. There you go. Ta-da! Um, I am going to hit the restroom, get us ready. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please remember to like this video, hit the subscribe button if you want to follow further content, uh, hit that uh, notification icon, it'll tell you exactly when I've started posting new things. Maybe you can even join me in one of my live chats. And uh, let's get this thing going. Hi guys, we're at the boathouse. Here is the menu. I'm gonna go slow so you can read it. It's amazing how good the low light works. Here are your sides. Hello. Did you see me who struck your fancy, my love, as I'm popping up to the bar to fetch her old fashioned? I did. I would love a Bellini. Okay, for sure. And when you're done yeah. all that and have a moment, I would love to talk to you about gluten free and crustacean free. Oh, for sure. So let me go ahead and grab uh, my allergy manager and I'll be right back for Perfect. you. Perfect. Thank you. It's one of the things I adore about Disney, the chef or the sous chef or whatever comes out and talks to you and takes your order in advance so they know what to do. And then the specialty menu. Do, 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 do. And this is the seasonal stuff and then they have oysters. Mm. And your standard, we're not being held responsible comments. So I'm getting that Christmas old fashioned. Darcy is getting a Bellini. I'm not sure, there it is, the Bellini Originale. Oh, it's the Harry's Bar Phoenician style. That's the real traditional one. Excellent. Yeah. Harry's Bar is in Venice on St. Mark's Square. And that's where they created the drink. They're the beer people. Did I read? Okay. And then we've got, oops, sorry, featuring wines, and then lots of wine, champagne, Pinot Noir. I'm gonna go a little wider on this since we're not ordering from it. I don't know. Hopefully, if you put this on a big screen, you can read it and see everything. Okay, it is spritzing a little bit, but not badly. That is all for her. <laughs> but this is our view. We asked for a first available table, and I guess because weather was questionable, most people wanted to be inside. It is noisy as hell out there, and it is peaceful and quiet and beautiful, and I'm loving this. And then we have the Darcy and the Michelle. We dressed up nice for dinner. Ta-da! She looks all elegant. She's in a dress and everything. Yeah. Me too. And uh, we're gonna enjoy our dinner and we will talk to you guys later. Bye. Is it sweet roll? The outside, yeah, this glaze I think has some kind of honey in it or something. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh look, Blue our despair. oysters arrived. Agony on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no, the Who's oysters. going to get rid of these? <laughs> I don't know. Who's going the to eat these? The poor awful oysters have shown up. Oh no. We must eat them. It would be rude not to. It would be rude not to. <laughs> okay. It would. We do not have forks. Right. We oh, have to oh. wait. Oh, I'll just use my hands. I don't care. 
I like to get all the meat off the bottom of this. That's okay. Okay. Your fingernails are right. No, we have to wait for the forks. Okay. Um, so, so actually what happened is we ordered these and we were trying to get them as an appetizer and the chef was having a long time to clean off for the allergy because I have a uh, shellfish allergy for crustaceans. I had a long time cleaning it off and because he wasn't able to clean it off, the, uh, the waitress said she's made an executive decision and these would become dessert instead of our entree. Uh, and so she comped them for us, which is amazing. And then they showed up before our entrees. So should we complain that they're not for dessert? could get more from dessert. I'm not complaining. They're, I just love the fact that you have dietary issues means we got free food. I think that's hilarious. And 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 that we had like uh, we got stuck on a ride meant we got a free ride. And yeah, oh that's right. This lunch today too. My lunch was free today. Oh because yeah. Because I had dietary happened? issues. Um, oh, I asked for it with right. I asked for the pod thai without the shrimp. That's right. She wrote it down. It said allergy, and they brought it out. And and Darcy, God bless her, said, Oh, Wait. there's shrimp on there. And the reason I found the shrimp is because I love shrimp. So it's like shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. And she like it, that second sense where she smelled it. By the way, we, we've had our first drinks. We're get about to have our second. This and is not nothing, a family friendly vlog. Nothing will go wrong. No, what could go wrong? Nothing. Nothing. We have forks. We have. Oh, that's dangerous. We should eat this stuff before it. it yeah, because mm, we got forks. Hi guys. So we have finished uh, my entree. Oh, you can come on up. You're recording. Yeah. If it, I can. Hello! <laughs> and our waitress's name is? Till. Till. She's it's in the pocket. Very shy and retired. Yes. yes. She's, very, she's an Aussie. Very quiet. Okay. Okay. I thought you did tables. Okay. Bummer. All right. What is <laughs> Yes, sprinkle. I've been waiting at myself. Oh, please do. Here, so they can is actually see you now. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, my God. I like that. That's good. That makes me happy. Beyond words, you have no idea. <laughs> Tables, no. That one, no. Oh, here we go. Yep. I am not a nutritionist. There you go. <laughs> but I have a theory. There is a good. Most people who are gluten free don't have the chickpea allergy in addition. No, no. And my mother didn't believe me when I had it. She was like, we're in an, uh, a vegan like, cooking class. I and my mother trying to prove to me that I must be wrong at the class goes, so could you have an allergy to chickpeas? And then was like, yeah, actually you could. And my mom's like, yeah, mom, I'm not lying. I really am not. Like I have hummus or tahini or uh, baba ganoush with, with the has chickpeas in it. And um, I will suddenly get a sore, drippy nose and I'll start sneezing and coughing a little bit. And then the next mi morning it's gone. It's too bad you're not in school because you could like get out of school by eating hummus. By eating hummus. And then you could get out of school with a cold. Oh, and it would be totally oh, legit. Yeah, know? and I wouldn't have yeah. known. Too late. Damn oh, well. it. Why did I not plan for this? By the way, we were at the end of our second drink. We're stopping. We're stopping. Sadly. Well, she's stopping. I will finish mine. I may be sending them back home. I have to do some you know, other stuff. I'm here with my kid, and I don't need to be a bad. I'm a bad no. enough example as it is sober. So <laughs> really, don't need to be. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. You've been quite lovely. I've been watching you guys together, and you're great. Oh, that's just an act. <laughs> oh, good. Well, it so fooled like me. Yeah. Totally fooled me. Um, so we're finishing up till our waitress has been amazing. She really has, yeah. 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 And, you know, kudos if, if, yeah, absolutely. She's been absolutely wonderful. And uh, we, uh, we will see, I'm going to see if I can drag them to the photo pass studio so they can get some fun pictures. And if uh, that doesn't happen, we'll still have a lovely evening. I'll send them home. I've got to get some stuff over at the Art of Disney. And if they want to hang, that's great. If they want to go home, that's great. Uh, they may watch the fireworks. They may go to sleep. I may go to sleep. Eventually. I hope. And then we get up stupid early tomorrow. Because we have to get on Rise of the Resistance. And that is the only way it's going to happen. It's the only way it's going to happen. Well, and we don't have to do it the second day if we get it this first day. <laughs> That's the thing. I love how it's like we're on vacation but we have to. <laughs> if you want to see it, you I know, know that's I it, know. you know. I mean, I got to, so it's not as, I mean, I would love to do it again. Yeah, but it made you cry. It, it was I mean, so really, good. This is what I'm doing on my, my vacation. I'm going somewhere you wanna, it's going to make me cry. You want to regress to when you were like seven or eight years old. So I have something to tell you. 
Okay. I have a confession to make. You have not seen any of them? No, that's oh, not true. Okay. No. The first time I saw Star Wars, when it first yes. came out, I was You don't 11, see me drinking. I was 11 years old, mm -hmm. and I was in a nearly empty movie theater with my cousins. Okay. We were, we were bored. We were. We were not into it. We were throwing lemon heads at each other and running around in the aisles. And then when the Death Star blew up, we were like, oh, that was really cool. And that, I'm telling you, that was it. And then I was like never into any of that stuff until I was probably out of college and my friends were playing it and I started watching it. And when they got to the chess game in the on the Millennium Falcon, I was like, oh. This is actually kind of funny and cool, and, and then I started paying attention. But before then, I was like, eh, ah, Star Wars, eh, ah, eh, ah, eh, ah, whatever. Yep, <laughs> yep. But then I really enjoyed watching it in a drive through We're no longer friends. That's it, we're done. I, what? <laughs> we're no longer friends. That's it, we're done. <laughs> No, but then you see, I converted. Oh, yeah, yeah. And one of my favorite things to do was was I went to um, I saw the you know the first the New Hope yes. in a drive-in movie theater, uh, and I sat on the roof of the car. And my favorite scene is the dog fighting scene when they go into the trench. Yeah. I mean, so I'm like on the car going. Nyeh! And when we did the Millennium Falcon ride, I was a pilot. We both were pilots. pilots. We were both pilots, and we did not destroy. I didn't suck. We did not destroy the ship. I didn't suck. I didn't owe Hondo money at the I end. I only dinged a few things. Yeah. Yeah, we both hit a few couple bad moments, bad. and both of us got. We, we worked as a team. You, you, if if the video has come out, that was mostly her screaming at me. But well, no, okay. no, no, no. There were people from behind us going, "Go up!" because I was going too low. So yeah. So we were both getting screamed at with people helping us. In my defense. What? It was the first time I'd ever flown the Millennium Falcon. Yes, any any craft that had done the Kessel Run in less, in less than twenty one parsecs or whatever. Sixteen parsecs. Okay, that's less than twenty one. It is it's less than twenty one. All right. But it's better than that, you know. <sighs> okay. Anyway, so in met. Okay, I just poured water all over yeah. my phone and my shoe. Yeah, it's a party. Somebody Ooh. spilled a drink. Yay. The water. I spilled the water. A drink. Because alcohol drink. abuse is not allowed. that's a drink. It if is a beverage. You spill water, it's a drink, okay? Okay, so, okay we're going to get back in a little while. We'll talk to you later. Hey. Oh, look at that. Okay. Thank you. We're making a scarf, guys. This is the art, what is this place called? The, the art corner. The art corner at Disney Springs. And I am going to be making a pretty scarf for someone. Okay. so I'm gonna go ahead and wait for you. I'm okay. I'm gonna teach you how to lay your colors, okay? Okay. They're making a scarf. So she's wiped it down. To take this simple. Place. You're dropping your colors? You wanna hold uh -huh. the bottle high up? So down. Give it a light squeeze so one drop of paint comes out at a time. Okay. And you can do it anywhere you want. Just stay inside the white for me, okay? Stay inside the white. The white color or this this the thing? white the white paint. The white paint, okay. So wherever the white paint goes, we're gonna add color into it to create a pattern and a design. Do you want do you want to film it for me? Would you be kind would you be okay? And then you can make sure we get it all on camera, that would be great. Alright. So I have to stay. Hold it apart, one drop at a time. Sorry. Bug go bug. Bug be gone. Not your scarf. <laughs> Sorry, my ninja skills were quite there yet. No, that's fine. <laughs> no, I'm leave that okay. I think I think we're good. And you said okay, correct? Um uh, Yeah, I think that I like it. We're gonna go ahead and grab this tool. We're gonna go ahead and drive to the end of the track. We're gonna readjust, we're gonna go back, I'm just gonna hold it in place. Yeah, that's going to be kind of amazing. 
<laughs> kind of amazing. I'm subtle that way. I love that. So go ahead and grab on. Yeah. We're gonna go straight down. We do want to go slow with this tool, okay? I see that it's okay. I almost liked it without that. Okay, that's cool. I think I still like it with the bouquet. Yeah. A little slower for me. <laughs> if my foot was a hand, I would have caught it. All right, go ahead and grab on. This okay. time, instead of going straight, we're going to wave it back and forth. So you're going to pass it to me. I'm going to pass it to you all the way down the track. Okay, yeah, I see that that's changing the back. That's nice. Yeah. That'll work. I think that's good. Right, let's go ahead and dip it. All right. So we're going to follow the scarf coming in and watch it turn. I think, it should, I think it would be better if I go yeah. over to this side. Yep, stay there, that's perfect. So you're gonna have to come a little closer to me. Lift your end, we're actually gonna have the center land first. So I'm gonna let the center dip to the water. Perfect. Nice. And there it is, what do we think, folks? All right, I'm gonna have to get a ring for you. I'm not looking right now. I really <laughs> lost the shirt. I'm so sorry. It's okay. okay. We are now. So that's the hole where the stuff I designed was. She is now washing it out to get all of the excess and the dangerous stuff out. The dangerous stuff. It's all organic, I promise none of it will buy Well, I meant dangerous to my oh, other clothing. Dangerous to us. She doesn't want to get her stuff dirty, I don't yeah, know. she's gonna be okay. Nice. Ready to show the fans? Ooh. Beautiful. Fabulousness, that all is right. stunning. Just hold tight for me, I'm gonna fold it, okay, hon? If you would like, it can stay in the back for up to five days if you want to wait till you get home. That'd be perfect. Okay, yeah. And then all the instructions on what to do with it are on the pink card in the bag. Okay, okay. so I have to do, I'm assuming there'll be another washing process once I get it You're home. You're going to so. rinse it. I recommend that you soak it in fabric softener just because okay. the acrylic is stiffened a little bit. Okay. And then you're going to hang it to dry, iron the back side, which is the faded side, and then it's good to use. In the back side. Okay. And then if you ever find that you need to wash it, I hardly believe that you will. The same instructions. Okay, well, I'll give this to her when I give it to her. Absolutely. Hey, guys, we made a scarf. Yay! Hello, all. You like the bouquet one, the same one I did? Okay. All right, she's made up her mind. She'd like bouquet.
just about 10 o'clock. Down there are the fireworks from Magic Kingdom. That will be the Mickey and Minnie Christmas time. And over there are the fireworks from Hollywood Studios Jingle Bell Jingle Bam. And in between is the Epcot Ball. We just missed their fireworks. Now we can't, of course, hear the music, but boy, oh boy, isn't that pretty. I'm gonna get even get closer. Universal will be on the opposite side of us. Yes. And then the Epcot ball is glowing purple in the distance. Yeah, the big finale is going to be insanely pretty. Really? We should get mom out then. We saw it last night. So... Hope that's two at the same time. Yeah, they do hearts and boxes and smiley faces and all kinds of fun stuff. Going off. Jingle bell, jingle bam. So it's all more Christmassy colors and Christmassy things. Yay, the boxes are cool. No, they start at 10. Epcot's were at 9.30. Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom are at 10. That's nice. Well, or just family at the holidays. They didn't quite say you have to be with family at, 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 at the parks. Thank God, but That's what they really want you to oh, sure, they want you to believe that. Yeah, yeah, that's probably its finale, but it's a, sh it's a. Yeah. Finale. There it is. Wow, it is kind of massive and impressive, isn't it? Oh, that's a big car. Yeah. That's a big car. Yep. I don't know how long those actually go. Yeah, this is the finale. That's fine. Ta-da! We have had an incredible day. We finished out Universal. We got all of the rides except for Hagrid's and Flight of the Hippogriff that we wanted to get done. Uh, we may look at Kong, but eh, we're not necessarily interested in that. Then we went to Disney Springs. I made an art scarf. We, I went and did a lot more of the shopping I needed to do for friends. We walked around. We did not do the Christmas tree trail. We did not get to do the balloon, although it did finally start running, but it didn't quite work out schedule-wise. Here's my other artist. Um, we had an amazing time to get tonight, guys. Um, now, if you like this video, please remember to hit the subscribe button, that bell notification, because so you can, so you get a signal about any, every new video. She knows it. She's very smart. Uh, but please like, subscribe, comment, tell us what you thought and be polite. And uh, we hope you have a great time. We're going to have a whole lot more for you to enjoy. This is only day three of theirs and only day five of mine. We have three more days. We're going to get to sleep early because we have a very early night, morning, tomorrow, yeah. 4.15 in the morning for me, 4.45 for them. We are going to go and do everything we can to get on Rise of the Resistance. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night. I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?